well, we're getting ready to go into the building and show you the uh, upper Lamborn water treatment plant for the town of Paonia. Raw water comes from two different lines. One comes from the east above the tank, and the other one comes from the south. And they both meet right here in the driveway, and that's how they get into the buildings. Um, you can come back, and that's the two million gallon storage tank. Okay, we're here at um, Payone's Lamborn Water Treatment Plant. Um, we just walked into the treatment plant itself. Um, there is a few repairs that are under, are under process right now, um, but this is where the raw water comes in to the treatment plant. Um, this is uh, German Creek water that comes from over by above Lone Cabin Reservoir, and then this water here is a water that comes from Old Original and Upper Reynolds Creek that sits above Reynolds Reservoir. Um, water comes into into the plant here, um, runs through a series of valves, flow meters, um, turbidity analyzers, and then goes into a comes down and then goes into a, a raw water tank. From the raw water tank, it is goes out there and is pumped from two different pumps, um, pump one and pump two, which goes into our membrane filtration plants. From there, it goes through the membrane filtration plants, comes back out of the filtration plants. Coming through the filtration plant is actually processed water from raw water to finished water. Um, goes out through the blue pipe, it's got a flow meter. After it goes through there, it's chlorinated. It's chlorinated here in this pipe here. And then also um, uh, finished water turbidity is taken here from combined through both filters. From here, it goes over into this um, this finished water tank here, where it's it's a a small contact tank that is actually um, pumped from there goes pumped out of there is goes down to the bottom floor here, and then. From here, it goes up to the big drain tank outside. From the big drain tank outside, it comes back down into this building and comes down the light blue pipe down on the bottom. It, it's teed off there. It either can go into distribution or it comes back into the backflow preventer and water is used for backwashing of the skin. Um, once the water is backwashed, it'll reverse flow through the, the two membrane skids, through the brown pipe. The wastewater is through the brown pipe and then goes over to the first tank we've seen. And from that tank there, it goes into the smaller um, skid, which is recycled water. And that, that water through there will go, um, will go to finish water. If, and when that, that skid has to backwash, that water cannot be reused and then goes into the black neutralization tanks. From the backwash into the neutralization tanks is come down, um, is either discharged, uh, it, it's neutralized and discharged into a series of um, backwash ponds that are a series of five ponds out um, through the field here. Any other questions? <laughs> it's pretty simple. This is um, this is the finished water um, skid. It actually went on pause because of the high flow, but um, shows our tank level. 
we're sitting at 29.89 feet. Um, total volume in the tank. Um, total um, filtered water produced since January 1, 23 million. Total water produced yesterday. Total water today that we produced. This is all finished water. Um, raw water. Um, overflow from German Creek. Um, what we're using of Reynolds Creek Springs. Um, turbidity for each each spring line coming in. Uh, this this is the spring flow meter that we're actually under repair right now, so it's not showing any. Um, then you can go each day or each skid, what each skid is running. Right now, that's skid one, skid two. Then skid three is off, but it'll show what it's running. Um, then we just got our common equipment, um, how long each pump ran, um, total backwash water for each, um, for total backwash water that backwashes skid one and two, um, a high speed um, manual pumps for backwash water. Um, Chlorine pumps for um, for we chlorinate um, raw and finished water for filtration. You can get into your chemical cleaning, um, your uh, pressure decay monthly. Then all your set points set points for each skid. Then you can run it manual controls if you need to, and then you can you can trend trend all of these through um, graphs. I'll show you a tank level graph for um, It'll be for yesterday. You can see how the tank came up and went down and then came back up. If you guys have any questions or want to learn more about the water treatment facility of the town of Paonia, um, feel free to get a hold of the office and they can get you in contact with me um, as a operator of Paonia Water Treatment Plant.